Come on, cars got in my way. There's no way I could have that much energy flipping the sign. Oh no, man, he don't get. Oh! <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. And as you can see by popular demand, we have got Grizzy back on the scene, man. Everybody loves him, man. I'm everybody loves on, you. We're back on the cell block. Every, we're on the boulevard right now. Everybody loves you, though, man. Hanging out. We got to get you your own channel jumping soon, man. I'm telling you, man, you get plenty of clientele coming. Super weight. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mega swoles. <laughs> 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 all right check it out man i really look i really don't know what i'm gonna even be talking about here i'm just gonna be freestyling it and let him come up with the answers to some Ooh, of the questions that i got so uh let me think here uh and why he thinks hit the like button and subscribe hey smart man he's uh, already got the hang of it damn. hey hold on all right let me think here man <clears throat> all right uh I want to hear some funny stories, man. Some funny stories. Hey, remember that one time? Uh, oh, yeah. Let me sh start off with this. Let me pop that jank back on. Look, one time he brought this phone out today. <laughs> one time I was driving on interstate. Relic. Okay, he says I'm a horrible driver. He definitely is. I ain't. The only time I ever got in an accident was when he was in the car. It's so what like does that tell you? Them, Maybe he's the black cat, not me. I don't know. <laughs> the cloud is definitely not over me. <laughs> Anyway, look, look, check it out. One Not time I was on the, uh, on the freeway bypass, and I slammed on my brakes, almost got hit by someone. I mean, I almost hit someone because the traffic came to a dead stop, but I was safe. We were safe, man. Oh, oh we were safe. And, uh, and then, like that, it changed, and we weren't safe. Yeah, someone hit me from the back, nailed my car, totaled it. I ain't got pretty much nothing. Ruined. I got nothing out of this whole thing, but of course... My neck and my back hurt. <laughs> he got plenty out of it. Now check this out, man. He always gets something out of a car wreck, and he ain't even the one driving, man. You know what I mean? But check this jank out. Passenger. I haven't even seen this. I never, even, I never <clears throat> even seen one of these before. This was he got this from the earnings of the car accident. I got a fat settlement check. Look at this little old phone, man. He still it's the has first, his thing. It's the it's the first touchscreen cell phone. HTC jank. Huh. This thing's thing sweet, man. It's like a pager and a cell phone. It's but, crazy. But I was crazy. I was mad, too. I was, I was hating on you. I ain't gonna lie. Dude, you got a sweet car, and then your car got I set on no fire. Free. Yeah, you did. You nah. got the Civic, and then they say this, somebody firebombed it. You don't remember that? I do remember that. In your front yard. But still, I ain't getting nothing out of the freaking car accident. Oh, well, you got a new car. Yeah, that was because, uh, by the grace. No, no, it was not because of insurance. The insurance didn't even pay, but like a, a two grand. Really? Yeah. Uh, and it went by the blue book. You ain't got a, a nice car. Yeah, that junk got torched, man. Yeah, did you tell him that story? Yeah, I told him. Did you? That's yeah. if y'all. That's if real. See, see. If y'all haven't heard that story before, uh, go check it out. That's God. how you know he'll be lying. How someone uh, firebombed my car, man, while I was locked up, facing yeah, over fifty years yeah. of abduction and all kinds of crazy stuff. Crazy story. Go check that one. Out. I don't even know what the title is, but. Uh, but yeah, man, he's always getting freaking money out of these things, man. You didn't give me nothing out of that either, man. You should have you should have gave me some cash. Should have asked. You wouldn't have gave. He, get fed. he wouldn't have gave have me nothing even I if gotta, I asked. Have you? You try throwing on the swole? <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta ask. Look, look, look. All right, check it out, man. Let's hear some stories I don't know nothing about. Uh, Ooh, put hot sauce how about on how about uh, you got any incidents with the cops kicking in the house or anything like that? Yeah, a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. That sounds so bad, you America. Me, give me one. Give me one. Uh, what about the one at your grandma's house? I don't remember. Uh, uh, they uh, oh. they come up in the attic and got me. I uh, pretty much had uh, I, uh, had a charge. They come look for me, and it was like 4:30 in the morning, and I heard them beating on the door. So I didn't want my grandma to go to the door and not uh, not know what was going on. Uh -huh. and I, Definitely didn't want her to say that I was in the house. Yeah. So, uh, you know, she she went out there and shot her shot and uh, told them, that, you know, everything was cool, that they could definitely come in, but she hadn't seen me. And uh, in this house, man, because it, it was a nice size home, and it was old. So it had a lot of, like, crawl spaces and crook, crooks and corners, yeah. you know. And uh, the attic, man, was, like, around a corner, around a corner, up a little bit 
you know? Yeah. And uh, it was just totally out, you know, out of sight, out of mind. And uh, I shot for the attic, man, and it's summertime. How'd you get in the attic? <clears throat> was, it a, was it like a ladder kind? No, no, I had to like scurry. How'd you get up in it? Yeah, did you to, have to jump off? I had anything? to use my spider. Yeah. Spider jank? Yeah, my, my uh, you know. A muscle up. They call them muscle ups. That's an adrenaline pump. S -s yeah. Now that's the police pumping. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's what that is. I tell you what, man, when the police, the police are chasing you, oh, you have superhuman powers. I'm Absolutely. not going to lie. You run like Hussein Bolt, you I never knew you what, could. Yeah, you be jumping six foot privacy, <laughs> privacy fence like you're an Olympic track star, for real. <laughs> you never yeah. believe it, man, yeah. I swear. But anyway, uh, so, so what uh, happened I get, I get up in the attic, man, and uh, I hear them all over the house, dude. All over the house, and they can't, they're not finding me. And I get all the way in this, like, this uh, crawl space uh, in the attic, man. And uh, I cover myself in insulation. And don't ever do that. <laughs> <Ever>. <laughs> It was the wrong thing to do. Ah, I can see you covering yourself in insulation right it now, was, man. It was deplorable oh by all God. means. But I don't even know what that word means, but it sounds good. Yeah, it's really bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's just not no bueno. <laughs> not at all. So anyways, uh, I'm, I'm hiding, man. And then I'm sweating. And insulin, Shirt on or off? Uh, on. Oh, you lucky, man. Yeah, yeah, I was lucky. But no, not really. Yeah. yeah. But it would have been even worse if you had his shirt off. The was, insulation would have been digging so all bad. up in you. So I'm sweating bullets, man. Like, you know, like I just ran a, a marathon, you know, and hoping and praying that these people don't find me. Yeah. And uh, next thing I know, man, uh, I see these red laser beams. So, I, you know, I know I hear I hear some shuffling. I didn't really, I couldn't quite hear the attic uh, entrance pop open. So, uh, anyways... Uh, I see the beam, so I know that they're up there, but hopefully they don't see me. But I'm just so stupid, you know, that you can see someone laying under, you know, insulation. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, I went to jail, and they drug me out of that attic and made sure that I felt every 2 by 4 nail, <laughs> shingle, anything and everything that was in there, they made sure I felt it because they had to come up there and get me. Yeah, you better believe it. Yeah, that's what they told you me. Better believe too. it, man. That was they told me. And then they set me in the cow car for like an hour before they decided to do anything with me. You drove the truck back to the house. My mom had to come <clears throat> get the dead on truck and come bond me out of jail in North Carolina. Hey, remember that one time? Hey, look, remember that oh, one time? Then I flew to Hawaii. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. I went on the run, player. Yeah. So you got he got pulled over. This is a crazy story. So, he got pulled sorry. over. Yeah, three times by the same cop. Yeah, go ahead. Do the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, we'll break it down to him. Yeah, go ahead. We ain't got number time. So check it out. Me and him get pulled over by the cop. Go all the way to the running phase, too, you know Yeah, what I mean? yeah. So me and him get pulled over by the cop. I go to jail. I get a court date. I get a court date. Drive down to North Carolina. I say, uh, I'm guilty. They give me a fine, a $450 fine. They say, you got 10 days to come down here and pay that fine. The whole time I'm on probation in the state of Virginia, um, I had just come home from prison. And so when I uh, I go back down there on the 10th day to pay the fine, me and Alan, uh, uh -huh. yeah. uh, Rachel's, yeah. uh, 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 is it Alan or Alan? Yeah, it's Alan. Alan. Me, me and Alan, I get Alan to ride with me. Ride back down to North Carolina. I got a blue truck now that's very noticeable. And... Uh, <laughs> driving get all the way down to make the left to turn into the courthouse and i swear to god in the parking lot an undercover cop car hits its lights and guess who jumps out of it the same good dude. old mr buddy lee you know old johnny law the same one and he knew i didn't have no license so right then and there he get us for possession of marijuana drive, get me for driving without a license get Allen a possession of marijuana paraphernalia charge. <laughs> I got this money in my pocket that I'm supposed to pay this $450 fine. That's the whole damn reason I'm down here in the first place. Yeah. So now this this cop done got me twice. I'm mad. Madder than hell. And uh, so I go in. He takes me in front of the magistrate right then and there because we're at the courthouse. Uh -huh. The magistrate's there in North Carolina. It's a little bit different than Virginia. And uh, she... Uh, she comes around the corner and she says, "All right, son, what what were you doing? Why were you? Why are you here? You're not even from here. What's what's your deal?" 
I said, well, I was coming to visit family, got pulled over, got found guilty. He said I had to pay a $450 fine. That's the reason I'm down here today. And this is the same cop right here that pulled me over <laughs> in he the was first probably, place. He was probably waiting for you. He knew the date you had to yeah, be yeah, there, yeah. too. So she says, all right, um, you can uh, pay the $450 fine right now. If you pay the $450 fine, I'll give you a PR bond on these charges and let you go on your own recognizance. You'll come back down here for court. Yeah. Right? Bet. That's what I'm down there to do anyways, to pay the daggone fine. Yeah. I give them the 450 dollars she gives me a bond, I get ready to leave. She looks at me and she says, I'm going to tell you one time, son, don't get back in that car and drive home. I said, yes, ma'am. This is like 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I sit there till 7 o'clock at night. Wait for shift change. Wait for shift change. <laughs> uh, I wasn't going to get back in the truck and drive in the daytime. Not me. No, you nope. got to wait for that shift change. Yeah, I waited for it to get dark. What would you do while you wait? You just sit in the car? S sat around, looked stupid in the middle of nowhere at a courthouse. <laughs> playing, playing like I got somebody coming to get me. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're on their way. They got to get off work first or something. I don't know. I was telling them whatever the hell I'd tell them. Just leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... So I get back in the truck, man, and I'm cruising, boy. I get all the way to the damn state line, man. I swear to God, I can see the, I can see Virginia. Like, I can say, so that's welcome to Virginia, son. I can see it right there at the border station. Man, out, out jumps the good old Mr. Easter Bunny and hits his lights and gets me again. Three times. Three times. That's got to be harassment. <laughs> it's gotta be. How you know that was me in that truck? You know. Yeah, that's so, crazy, yeah. Man. so anyways, this time, dude has my truck impounded, and he takes me back to jail. Well, by the time I get back to jail, the courthouse is closed. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So now I gotta sit a night in stupid county jail, uh -huh. and wait till the morning, and uh, they gave me another bond. So now I got a court case for all this stuff, all these charges. All the new charges, all on, on the probation, same day. and he's on, on probation. probation. You know he's going energy. back to prison. You know you're so, going back to prison once he goes through with everything. So all this takes place without my probation officer knowing. Yeah. Okay, because it's all in another state. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. He's not looking. If he does look, he can see it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is where the cop even gets dirtier. So the cop says, um, "I tell you what, man. Uh, he wanted me to to try to set somebody up." Right? Yeah. And I, I said, uh, go F yourself. And uh, I cussed him out, and he got mad about it, and he called my PO. Now, and told my PO about all of this. I don't know so that. The dude was trying to get you to set someone up. Right, right. They're crooked as hell. From man. Carolina, though. Yeah, what but he it? wanted them to come down to Carolina across that across border. Across the border, huh? huh? Get a little traffic in Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Now, now, you know. Anyways, so. He calls my PO, drops a dime on me, and uh, I go to see my probation officer. Okay, so the court case is like, we'll just say the 15th of whatever month we were in, right? Yeah. I got to see the PO on like the 12th. Yeah. Okay, so I have to see the PO before I go to court in, the, in North Carolina. So when I um, go see the PO, man, everything's cool. He don't ask for no urinalysis. He don't, he take my little paycheck stubs. Uh, you know, I fill out the little re the little report paper, whatever. Ha ha ha, he he ha. You know, I'll see you next month. Everything's cool. Right before I go to leave, he says, "Hey, uh, you got uh, any new charges or in state or out of state that I I might need to know about?" I looked at him just as sure as a bear craps in the woods. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "All right, have a good day." But I knew. I knew. I knew he knew. So my whole plan was just to go down there to court and get it done and behind me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and uh, because if he won't, if he won't go, you know, if he won't go, you know, be nasty about it, he ain't gonna be nasty about it later. You know what I'm saying? If he yeah. ain't being trying to do something to me right then, and he let me go. So I went. I get somebody to drive me back down there in North Carolina, man, and uh, go to court. But this time, instead of pleading guilty like I did the very first time. Because in North Carolina, <clears throat> they'll call out your name and the charge and just straight up ask you in front of everybody, guilty, not guilty. 
If you say guilty, they'll set you to the set, to the other side of the courtroom, and then they'll call each one, uh, the judge will call each one that pled guilty up in front of them, and then they'll hand down sentence. You understand uh -huh. what I'm saying? It's yeah. totally different than here. Yeah. So anyways, uh, I go up, and I say, I want a lawyer. I'm fighting this joint. You know what I'm saying? Forget this dude. That's total harassment. You know? And uh, gives me a lawyer. Tells me, uh, stay in contact with them. And tell you whatever they want to tell you. <clears throat> I go to turn the leave. Now, when I go to turn the leave, like eight deputies just run down on me and uh, arrest me right there in the courtroom and say I got a warrant for my arrest out of the state of Virginia for a probation violation. Uh -huh. So now the PO done put a charge on me, the violation on me, uh -huh. because dude done dropped the dime on me, the cop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So now I'm arrested in North Carolina. So now. This is like 8 o'clock in the morning. So they put me in the bullpen until like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And they bring me back out in front of the same judge I asked for a damn lawyer from. Yeah. And uh, he, he breaks it down to me. He's like, look, man, uh, how this is going to work and how this has to work is you, you by, by your constitutional right, have a right to ex, ex, extradition. So either you can fight extradition saying you want to stay right here in North Carolina and protest going back to the state that you had to charge out of and then the state has to show good reason why we should return you to them mm -hmm. or you can waive your right to that and just when the state comes and gets you you just go right on with them yeah. but they have up to 90 days to do it if you fight extradition they have 90 days to do it. If they don't do it within 90 days, you have to be released on your own recognizance. Or you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Have to be given a chance to 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 be released, uh -huh. whether it be secure bond or unsecure. So anyway, he breaks it down to me, and I thought to myself, I said, you know what? I want to stay right here in North Carolina. I want to uh, I want to fight extradition back to Virginia. He said, Are you sure about that, son? I said, Yes, sir. He said, All right. Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna do for you, because uh, you you have family down here, right? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's they like live a, right next door. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's yeah. like dream work. Yeah, yeah. Please, you know what's coming. <laughs> so the man says, uh, "All right, uh, so I'm gonna give you a five thousand dollar extradition bond." Good God! So in North man, you Carolina, you got more bonds I've ever seen in my life. Don't bro. no no. This is the only bond that I've ever gotten, and that was like the best. Carolina sweetest. Yeah, but they got they get they give you one. Virginia don't give you nothing. Yeah. Here in Virginia, you go to jail for driving out a license. No bond. No bond. You know, you get nothing. Yeah. Don't pass go and you ain't collecting $200. Yeah, that's for sure. You're going to get that bed roll in that orange jumper. Yeah. That's what they're going to hand you in some shower shoes. Anyways, what happened? Anyways, uh, so I make bond. So I immediately go home. I get all cash, all personal value, you know, anything that was of value to me. I sold everything that was of value that I did not need uh, and within less than 24 hours I was on a plane to Hawaii. <laughs> Aloha. How'd you get a passport man? You don't have to have a passport, that's a state. Oh yeah. Dummy. Oh, God, I forgot about yeah. that man. Huh? Yeah. I'm so tripping, I, uh, yo, I'm tripping man. I, uh, I went and this is, I paid like $380 oh, to go there. You went to Hawaii, man. Yeah, one-way ticket, dude. Uh -huh. Straight to paradise. Uh -huh. On the run. Was it paradise though? It was beautiful. Yeah. Amazing, gorgeous. Awesome. So what happened when you got there? I met up with Dave. Yeah. Yeah. And chilled out and enjoyed life. Well, did he give you a place to stay for a little while? For a little bit. Then he got funny. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, like, we keep things real around here. Yeah, you got a little funny. He's like, so you gotta go, bro. Uh, no, man. I'm working now. We, I got a job and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I got a. I was a doorman. Yeah. Yeah. I got a Honolulu liquor license card and everything. Oh man. my God, man. State certified. That's how crazy the system is. So he went. I he's went on got the run. A, a ABC liquor job on the run, wanted in another state, in Hawaii, like seven thousand miles away from here. Yeah, oh my God, man. Hey, that is absolutely insane. That just goes to show you how crazy the system can be, man. Yeah. Yeah. You can get lost in it, dude. You the can. system has Look, so is, many and loopholes, then Check this man. out. Check this out. So, Reefer and Hawaii is like deep, not like, I don't know. They they ain't messing with nobody. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Okay, the police, they're not. They don't care. It's, it, it, it is what they it is. They worry about that meth out there. Yeah, they worry about something totally different. So, anyways, man, I get caught with Reefer. You know, check this out. I get caught with Bud, man, burning a fat doobie on the beach. Police run down on me, man. 
I got my Virginia identification card on me. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? You got to have an ID to fly. You understand what I'm saying? This is my only thing that I have to, to keep. You know what I mean? That's going to get me off of this damn rock. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And look at them now. There's volcanoes that erupt. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> damn that. So uh, he, he, he runs my stuff, dude. He runs my stuff. And I just know. I'm sitting. It's just one cop. He's kind of heavy set. We're on the beach. Yeah. He starts to run my stuff. I'm like, man, should I book it right now? Oh, yeah. Should I run right now? Or should I just play it cool? Like the other side of the pillow. Yeah. Well, I played it cool, man. Man, come back. Uh, no, no, uh, you know. All clear. I heard that boy was like, yeah, you, sweet. He probably just did it for that state, man. You know, sometimes yeah, they can right, only go for the state. Right, 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 right. I don't know, but he called it in, so I don't know who, what system yeah, yeah, they were running yeah, it to. Yeah, yeah. They, probably didn't, do it, the they probably didn't do a nationwide check. Yeah, they yeah. If, they, if they would have hit the nationwide joint, I'd have been hit. Yeah. I'd have been toast. Yeah, definitely. Smoked. That's huh? crazy, though, man. He yeah. went on a run. He's yeah. a, he's a fugitive at law, life. and he gets his liquor license and working as a doorman at a ho hotel. No, it was hotel. a bar. Oh, at a bar. Doorman at a bar, bar with a liquor license. On the Waikiki Strip. <sighs> crazy, man. It was awesome. I didn't know all that. Yeah, I swear to God, dude. Matter Big fact, waves, bro. Was huge. It? When I got there, it was wintertime, man. And it was like the first year that they did the Eddie Aku tournament. Uh, big wave tournament. It had been it had been like five years or a few years before the waves. The waves got to be at least twenty five feet to have the tournament. Jeez. And Waimea, they get like sixty to seventy. What? Fifty foot swells, dude, back to back, shake the whole ground. That's insane, Woo. bro. I oh, freaking! You know, I never knew how people look. I surf, shakes. man. I don't know how people can surf something that big. That's absolutely and terrifying, man. And the, the real Hawaiians, man, they 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 they're 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 watermen. They paddling it. They're paddling to go out. They're not getting on no jet ski. They're not getting dropped in from a helicopter. They're not getting towed in. They're paddling it. That's crazy. They man. are the ultimate watermen, dude. Them people are like Hercules and a fish combined. <laughs> Straight up, man. <laughs> Like they, 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 they free dive, come back up with dude scared, scared me to death. Man, I'm chilling, hanging out, dude, swear to God. Cooling. It's like the sun's getting ready to go down, man. I'm on the rocks. Next thing I know, I hear this dude come up out of the water, and this some joker got an octopus, dude. <laughs> a real live octopus, like this freaking big, on the end of a spear. <laughs> Where the hell they do that at? Where they do that at? Huh? Oh, dude, the tentacles are like doing all this and stuff. And I'm like, I'm stuck on stupid. I'm stuck on stupid because I ain't never seen no octopus. And I dare sure I ain't never seen the octopus. That's like, you just killed Squidward. Dude, just popped out the water like that, man. With, with Squidward on the end of a spear, man. And the thing's doing this. The arms are flailing, leg, whatever man, the hell he got. He's dying, man. Oh, man. He was shooting that black stuff. I can see. I oh, can man. see. Oh, man. He was hey, like, and he kept saying. What'd you do? What'd you, know, you do? You man? know what they call that, though? What? Taco. Taco? Yeah, that's all they kept saying. Taco. Man, the thing's fucking. Yeah. <laughs> doing, I don't know what the hell it was doing. The Macarena. That's what it, that's what it, that's what it, that's what it looked like it was doing. That's what they was doing after they ate him. Oh, that's for sure, God, man. man. Well, that was a good story to end it, man. That, uh, that gave me a good little laugh, bro. Too funny, man. It is, man. I never knew all that stuff, man. I knew you went to uh, Hawaii. Yeah, man. Camp out on the beach at all? Absolutely. Yeah. A lot of, lot of nights. A lot of nights, man. It's a beautiful place. The island. It's got a lot of good people on it, man. How was the natives treating you, man? They were good, man. Yeah? yeah they were cool. Did they think you were kind of part of the community? Yeah, yeah, pretty Did much. Did they think you kind of were Hawaiian a yeah, little bit? Yeah, until I get to talking. They got their own language. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, their own some... slang, and they call it pigeon. You know? Pigeon? Yeah, that's what they call it, pigeon. And uh, they, uh, it's, you know, it's their own language, dude. I'd probably blend in out there, too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, do it again, nah, bro. You gotta do that one more time. This dude, a pro this dude, a professional freaking. Oh, watch this one now. Oh, he Come on, hit it up, though. No. He just did a handstand. Oh, you missed it. The car messed it up, man. He out there flipping and flopping, yo. He oh, getting down man. on the go. Oh, professional f sign flipper, bro. Oh, he just did another one. Uh, Come on, cars got my way.
There's no way I could have that much energy flipping the sign. Oh, no, man. He don't get... Oh! 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 Freaked it. oh! Give him a honk, bro. You can't do yeah! Bro, that dude was a professional sign flipper, man. <laughs> He's got his own account. Hey, they're, hey, they're like, uh, so do you know how to flip signs? And he's like, do I? <laughs> Let, Let me, me show you something. something. Hey, take this one? Yeah. Let me show you something really quick. I give him an extra $2 an hour for that job. Mm -hmm. Hey, he's flipping them signs so fast, they don't even know what business it's on. He the is, sign? No, no. <laughs> it's just a pretty color on a piece of paper. <laughs> Hot damn Hey, he's like, uh, uh, what'd you say now? What was he's, he a, said? he's a professional, man. You, know, you said something he's, else. He's teaching. He's got, oh yeah, he's got his, his own uh, sign flipping academy. Academy. Uh, he's hey, the I'll best tell you what. sign flipper in the seventh That season. guy has got to practice that on the regular. Yo, he was hitting flips and cartwheels. He was wheels. hitting cartwheels, somersaults, and everything. To buy Tony Hawk Land Hunters. While the sign flipping in there, man, that jumped crazy. With no shoes. Hey, Only remember, socks. Remember that one time uh, we got in a car accident in uh, Sam. All I had, no, no, not Sam. Uh, all I, what, what I have in the car. All I had in the car. What I had in the car. <laughs> Burglar equipment. <laughs> a bag full of senior, no good self to prison. Yeah. yeah. I, I bet at uh, what? He, he had. He had your. Uh, you're burglar, you're a burglar kid. A great one. I did. You had anything and everything. I had a long flathead. I had Slim Jims. Slim Jims, pliers, hangers. Baseball bats. Uh, gloves. Crowbars. Shears. About 30 stolen CD discs. so good he even had a weed eater in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I remember a cop pulled me over. I had all that stuff. And he's like... Uh, why do you have all these tools for? I said, man, <laughs> why are they all in the I said, I said, I work for an audio store down, I'm not going to name the store, but I was like, I work for this audio store right down the street. And uh, he's like, so if I call the owner, uh, he's going to say you work here. I'm like, yeah, man, yeah. And he believed me. He didn't call. Because if he called, he damn sure would have known I wasn't <laughs> working there. <laughs> we was working on how to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> a bag full of stuff. That's really hey, horrible, man. Crazy life, man. Hey, I'll tell y'all a story really quick. You know, this back in the day, a lot of y'all. Am I taking this exit? All right. Back in the day, uh, y'all know I used to be, you know, a booster and stuff like that. I used to break into a, a lot of cars, and I got caught for the majority of them. Uh, but this one time, I remember, I was a criminal with a conscience. All right. Uh, at times, I remember I broke into this one car, and, and I only stole two hundred dollars. Now all they had, they have, they have nothing. They have nothing. All they had was a bunch of pills. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll be able to take these pills back and see what they are and flip them. Well, uh, it turned out these pills was cancer pills oh. and HIV pills. Oh yeah, they had to go back. I went back. I went back, took the pills with me, and I put them back in the car. I'll yeah. never forget it. I never forget. I had a, I had a very bad guilty conscience, Absolutely. and it was like it was like four thirty in the morning, five in the morning. The sun's about to come and rule up. Rule one hundred one. Number I'll, one is never go back to the scene. I know, time. never go back. And I just I just had to do it. But you know what? That I put the pills exactly where I found them, and that was that. Man. That was that. You know what I mean? That was that was good stuff. That's good stuff. So yeah, that's another little crazy story. Spread love, not war. All the time. And, uh, 23 and 1. I'm going to call mine 23 and done. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Uh, about 23 that? and done. That'd be a good one. That'd be a good, that'd be a good, that'd be a good channel name. All right, y'all. I'm uh, out of here. We out of here. All right, Griswold. Anything you'd like to say to them before I leave? I got some sleep. Yeah, you do. I'm tired. I'm tired, man. Well, give, him, give him a little piece of advice before you go. Don't drop the soap. Uh, someone asked me if I dropped the soap. I told him I used to throw the bars of soap at people. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> hey, let me get that back, Yeah, yo. let me get that one. Uh, that was my good one. Uh, all right, man. Y'all be easy out there, man. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Until the next time.